Guys, some incense. she's burning some incense. We are in Maya's palace. I want to give you guys a quick tour of Maya's meditation room. Let me show you guys. <laughs> ah. <laughs> this is Magnolia. Say hi, Maggie. Magnolia, hi. This is Maya's meditation room. Wait, so I need to be fixing up. <laughs> and uh, we just have breakfast. This is our breakfast. This I'm is hungry. so good. Me too. Hmm. So Maya is a genius, owner of Ingressive, and she is a multifaceted modern woman who used to be... Who used to be my backup dancer? <laughs> Maya, please come and tell them the story oh, of how you. Oh, sorry. It's okay. Oh, wait, Angela, do you want to say hi? Ange Angela is, um, <laughs> Angela is my house manager. <laughs> and, and she made us this beautiful food. Hello. And she's also hi, a Korean, Angela. so what's your favorite song? Mm -hmm. oh, if I want to say my favorite song, I think my favorite song is um, going to. I just want to live my life. Cruise my cruise and buy my vibe mask. Kilo call me as long as I'm getting money. Okay. You're welcome. Thank you so much. Angela is Maya's house manager. And she makes all this. By the way, are you vegan? Um, I'm working on it, yes. But you're basi basically pescatarian. Mm -hmm. She eats only fish. Mm -hmm. mm, but now I... Ah. I should go and uh, wash my car glass. Mm -hmm. yeah, this is job. yeah, let's just put this on the thing itself without the books on it. How about with the tray? But without the books. Mm. Mm -hmm. Let's eat. So Maya, talk to us. Talk to us. How yes. did you become? Maya is living in Lagos, and you've I'm been in Lagos. Lagos. How it long? Looks too good. Sorry. <laughs> it looks too good. How long have you been in Lagos? Mm. Nine years. What kind of fork is this? For God's sake. <laughs> Everything must be beautiful. <laughs> Oh, thank you for 50 stars. Let me see who sent me 50 stars. This is Coretta Chester. Thank you for 50 stars. Appreciate you. Okay, so Maya, tell us, why are you in Lagos? Why am I in Lagos? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because I run a venture capital fund and I invest in tech across Africa. Mm. And if anyone doesn't know what a venture capital fund is, it's a pool of capital you use to invest in early stage companies. So I invest. And despite my very American accent, I'm half Nigerian. My dad is from Ogun State. Mm -hmm. And he's here in Lagos. And I like to spend time with my family. So I'm here because of my family. Mm. So how did we meet? Um, we actually, my very first runway modeling show. <laughs> I see all these multifaceted women. You can be <laughs> drummer, you can be singer, you can be poet, you can be dancer. You can be VC investor, you can be dancer, you can be model, you can be everything you want. Mm -hmm. um, I would say, yeah, we met, I was, it was my first runway show, and Cora showed me how to strut. <laughs> Not just to be walking, no, 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 nice down the runway. She told me how to strut. <laughs> um, yeah, and that's how we got to know each other. And then Maya was... See, isn't this nice? This is squash. It's not even, it's not even... Made from any wheat, anything like this. We're having squash noodles right now. She made it from squash. Mm -hmm. It's so nice. It's so nice. It's so sweet. It is nice. What is this paste? Mm, she made um pepper. Yeah, it's really good. <clears throat> it tastes like it's creamy too. I'm about to try this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's very creamy. Hmm. Maya, mm -hmm. why is our Naira devaluing? Mm. Mm -hmm. Guys, one Naira, one dollar is one thousand five hundred Naira right now. Wow, it's already up that bad. Mm -hmm. 
Mm. Basically, it's devaluing. So there are, how do I explain this very simply? It's devaluing because the money that we are spending on things that we need to import and bring into the country is more than the money that we are making for the things that are demanded that we manufacture or that we make and then sell abroad. A currency, the strength of a currency is based generally on two things. It's based on one, so the, 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 the value of anything is based on perception. And so if other investors perceive the Naira is a value, they will want to buy our bonds, they will want to invest in our market, et cetera, et cetera. Versus if they believe it's not of value, hmm. then they won't. And the value of the currency will decrease. And also, the other way that value is created is when we create things in Nigeria, and then people need to pay Naira to, get to buy those things. Mm -hmm. But if we are not creating a lot of different things and selling them globally, then the Naira will have less demand. So that's really like very, very simply is we are currently spending the, the government expenses, etc. cetera, are cur is currently more than we are making in revenue. And so that difference creates debt every year that grows, grows, grows. And other investors looking at the African, uh, looking at the Nigerian market say, we don't want to invest here. Because it's just plummeting. And the debt is just increasing every year. So those are some reasons. So what do you think is a viable solution to this devaluation. So um, the problem is there has been bad economic policy for a long time. It's not new. And also we had a lot of foreign reserves. So we had a lot of USD, a lot of foreign currency reserves to protect our Naira. But the last administration, the one before that, you know, people just chop, chop, sure. chop, 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 chop. And so I think with this administration, they have a lot of correcting to do. So me, people come in and they're like, ah, Tinubu's so bad, the Naira's gone down, oil price has gone up, he's a bad president. The problem is when you get ha handed a house that's rotten, and then they say it's your own fault because you have the house, hmm. versus you have to be the one to do all the fixing of the house. And sometimes you need to tear down some rooms and it will look worse before you can start to rebuild. Mm -hmm. So what I mean by that is, Tinubu has done some things that people will be very mad at in the short term. Like, he took off the subsidies of, of fuel. Fuel. And the reason that he did that is because, you know, Nigeria produces a lot of oil. But the problem is we have to send that oil outside of Nigeria for it to be refined, meaning for us to be able to use it. And then we have to re-import it and buy it in dollars, or buy it in euros, or buy it in foreign currency. So that we're even, what I was saying before, our spending is more than we are making so even with the crude oil say we we export crude oil or we we export raw oil at say I, I don't know the numbers i'm just going to make something up i mean this is not my area of expertise but say we export it at 50 naira and we re-import it and we have to buy it back at 200 naira so every time we're sending out we're making less less and so that's part of the problem he he, he removed the subsidy because before when we were re-importing it we were using our dollars to make it cheaper for people so they could buy the oil, like individuals could buy the oil. But now they're saying, no, we're moving the subsidy. So there will be pressure on the market for us to be refining it ourselves. Here. Yes. Dangote just announced his, his new refinery. We're going to start making oil ourselves from the beginning to the end. And that's one thing. And the other thing, or am I, is this okay? Are people following me? Yes. Yes. Okay. You're doing a great job. Okay. Go in my you know, let, let me stop. Let me stop. You, you can ask me. No. Don't stop. Let me stop because I want to be eating broccoli. Just wait. <laughs> mm. Okay, okay, okay. So you just told us one solution, which mm. is one, refining our own fuel. Yes, that's one thing. And that's one big thing that Tinubu did that hurt people now. Because it's like, fuel, fuel price is what? It was like, what, 40, 50 naira a liter. Mm -hmm. Then it was like 600 naira a liter. It went crazy. And people were like, what is this nonsense? But it has a bigger purpose. Because how much are you likely, if something doesn't hurt, hurt, and you're not feeling it every day, mm -hmm. what is the pressure going to be for you to make it change? And so he removed the subsidy so that there would be pressure on the market to make it change mm -hmm. for us to start refining and building that, up, that sector out ourselves. And mm -hmm. lo and behold, look, finally, it's starting to happen already. So it's bad. It, it, in the short term, it hurts, and it hurts the average person. 
But in the long term, it will get better, better, better. Our market will get stronger, stronger, stronger. What do you think the price difference will be between Dangote's oil versus our imported Chevron and all of that? Me, this is not my expertise. Do we have any oil and <laughs> gas experts in the comments? Uh, but the other thing, so we were falsely, we, we pegged the Naira to the dollar. And despite, because you saw in the black market, you wanted to buy dollars and the black market price was way different than the price you could buy in banks. And so the problem is the CBN didn't want to admit that there had been major devaluation. And devaluation means, if say a, a, a Naira goes, it's like $1 for 100 Naira, mm -hmm. to, and then it goes from $1 to 500 Naira. That's devaluation. Mm -hmm. The value has decreased in, mm -hmm. in that Naira. And so what they were doing before is saying, it's not our problem. We don't know what you're talking about. This is the official rates. There's we're no literally gaslighting rates. Nigerians They're, to believe that our Naira exactly. was still at the value that it exactly. was. Mm -hmm. And it's real. And so now what they have done is they have depegged the Naira so that it can float and they can find a stable value that the black market, the official rate is the same. And so that's, what, that's one other measure that they're doing now. Because also the problem before is that there was, because of that, the official rate was low, the black market rate was high, people could be buying at the official rate and selling at the black market rate and screwing Nigeria again and again and again. Yeah, because people were making a huge ton of money doing that. Yes, you guys know. So that's something else that has been done. I'm not in the government. I can't speak on their behalf of their policies. Um, I know that the, uh, the governor of the central bank is soon going to announce his fiscal policy for this year and next year. It's, it's coming up soon. So we should all tune in and, and try to understand. And I can do a video after explaining what he meant, because sometimes they are speaking nonsense. Mm -hmm. And it's a lot of yeah, like... jargon that we yeah. don't know. Not nonsense. And, they, so and do it in a lot of... They put it in those words because they don't want the layman to understand what they're saying. Exactly. So I will do a video to make sure that you all understand what's, what's happening. Mm -hmm. But things are changing. And, and some things that we can do is try to build up, because the one thing that will make the Naira more strong. First, that refinery, oh my God. Yes, that's, that's a very important one. And the other thing is, the more things that we can produce and here. end here, and then be selling abroad. And people forget, that also includes your own labor. So if you go in the tech sector, and you become a designer, or a developer, or a content creator, and then you are having uh, clients or you're selling services internationally and you're earning foreign currency and you're based here and spending here that's something too ingressive for good we have a nonprofit called ingressive for good and they do technical trainings and so you can in just three months you can learn to be a designer you can learn to be a developer you can learn any of these skills and then you could be based here earning dollars earning euros earning anything so that people don't people are starting to learn you've seen you know uh, Bosun Tijani and you know the, the, you know the Minister of Technology, you know some of the efforts that are happening to grow the number of technical talent in Nigeria because they realize that we have this massive resource here called young people, mm -hmm. called talent, talented very, young people. Very talented young you, people. You all have the potential and we all have phones so we can all be learning ourselves. And so that's something they're really investing in, the, in this administration is young people to learn technical skills and be getting employed globally from here. Mm -hmm. So that's one thing that you could do if you want Where to strengthen the, the Naira is stay um, here, learn, uh, get some tech skills and start getting gainful employment. How do, do they get gainful employment? Like in Ingressive these? for Good. Go to Ingressive for Good. Do one of the training programs there. That's, we have a nonprofit that does free technical training. Ingressive for Good. Uh, another one would be if you, if you make any products locally, it, uh, try to, try to work with the bank of industry, try to work with some, uh, say you're in the agriculture sector, you do processing, try to formalize that relationship with the government. They will pro provide debt, they will pro provide, or, or loans, if uh, another word for, for that, and they will help you to build out your capacity. So you increase your capacity so that you can start exporting some of your product. Say you even make plantain chips, say you, you uh, manufacture clothing, any of these things. If you can increase your capacity to meet local demand and start setting in, selling internationally, that is going to strengthen the Naira. These sort of things where we can start growing our domestic capacity and sending good products, finished products, not raw cassava, not these things. Finished things that people can buy and consume as they are, the finished product, because that's where the real money is. 
That's where the majority of the value is. It's not when you pick something out of the ground. The raw oil, you pick it out of the ground, you sell it to somebody. No. Ten, Packaged. Much, Packaged, yeah. Exactly. Much more value is in the end. So if you can start to focus, you want, you want to build value, you want to, to add value, focus on things that you can do from end to end. And you, you start it from the raw material, you finish it, and then you sell it directly to the consumer. That's the thing we need to focus on as a country. I'd say that's it. Good job, Maya. Thank you. So Thank you, produce Ma. in Nigeria, sell in anywhere, export. Export is the only way we can bring back value to our Naira. Also, producing our own oil and refining our own oil will reduce the prices of gas in the fueling stations. So we have to make sure that we all rally round and make sure that Dangote actually goes through with this refinery. Amen. <laughs> Amen. You know, because that will really drop the prices of fuel. Nigerian produced fuel versus American imported fuel. And the funny thing is they all get their crude oil from here, the raw material, and they go and refine it and import it back to us, which is killing our Naira. Once we're able to produce our own locally made things and actually use them as opposed to always wanting imported things, important things, then we will have some more value at our, for our Naira. Right now, the Naira is 1,500 Naira to $1, which is pathetic. Very bad. There was a time when I was younger, it was 100 and something to $1. Now it's 1,500. If we continue at this rate, we'll be the Zimbabwean <laughs> currency in no time. Mm -hmm. This is good. We should do, we should do these. Mm -hmm. This works. What do you guys think of a, of a Quora Maya series where we talk about current events, what's happening in the market? I can talk to you guys about venture capital, about technology, about entrepreneurship. We just have to make it fun. Mm -hmm. It just has to be over breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> they need to hear the mukbang chewing. <laughs> For the entertainment mm -hmm. value. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Maya is super smart. And I do these videos every day. So you will be learning. Wow, you finished that. Small body, big engine. <laughs> Small, Small body, big, big engine. <laughs> this was like, what? A tiny bowl of fruit. She said, boss, small body, big engine. You don't just eat. I do. Okay. After this, I still need one wrap of powder. The am and every drop we give. Maya, do you eat? What is that? Mm. Cashew butter. Ah. Hey. You want to know something very delicious? Mm. Put one plantain chip inside cashew butter. Mm. It's delicious, like this. Yeah, give me, give me, mm. give me that. Mm. Her name is Maya Hogan on Instagram. Go show her love. Maya Famud, right? Maya Hogan Famud on Instagram. H M A Y A H O R G A N F A M O D U. It's just long. It's my name, oh. It's my name. <laughs> so I pinned her name. Mm, come on, buddy, Joe. Come on, buddy, Joe. Stacy Dickinson Watts. Thank you for five hundred stars. Most people here are not Nigerian anyway. In the chat. In the life. Mm. Where are they from? Americans. Oh, really? My fan base is... Is mainly America? Mostly now. Wow, where in America? Like DMV, LA? Mm -hmm. New York. Mm. I got fans in Atlanta. Mm. Atlanta fans, you love. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's amazing. Yeah, thank you. Y'all, Cora has been a dear friend to me for almost, will that be almost a decade? It's 2024. So almost like, 10 years. Mm -hmm. Yes. Cora and I have been doing mischief for 
almost almost 10 years. And I'm really grateful for her. I'm grateful for you. Mm. You're a good friend. And she has a very, very big heart. I don't know if you noticed. And that heart, you see it in June all the time. Of course, Athena. <laughs> but I didn't grow up with Athena. But June, this will be amazed by things like, wow! Oh my god, wow! <laughs> and I like it because I'm like that too. Sometimes I'll just walk into her and be like, wow! <laughs> Yeah, you kind of remind me of June. Mm -hmm. You do. Mm -hmm. You both have the same vibrance. Which reminds me of you. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Interesting. So that means we are similar. Mm -hmm. We are friends. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's a little warm in here. Okay, I'll turn on AC. Maya is fully Nigerian now. You know I don't use AC. It's just for you. It's just for you. If you continue living at this rate, you live till you're 90 years old mm. at least. I don't mind. <laughs> mm. Maya will live till she's 90. Because she doesn't even eat pasta, she eats squash. Mm -hmm. She has a whole bowl of fruits and vegetables. Doesn't drink, doesn't smoke, doesn't do anything. Mm. The only thing she does is love on her cat. <laughs> Maya, see you when you're 90. Mm -hmm. And you're gonna be like, hey, <laughs> with a full head of hair. My grandpa is 91. Oh, God. my grandma just celebrated, I think she's 89 to yesterday. My grandma's birthday was yesterday. Maya takes holistic living to a new level. Mm. Zen. <laughs> This is so nice. It is. Angela killed it. Mm -hmm. Angela said, come now, come and stay with us one week. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you may as well. I'm like, is it your place to ask me to come? Yes. Mm. You should. Do you know how much a flight to this place is? Oh, of course you do. You come all the time. Exactly. But it's not cheap now. Mm -hmm. So that's why you should stay. And then what happens to my kids? You're gonna live to 140 years old. <laughs> mm -hmm. You? You. Oh. Mm -hmm. I think so. So she made this pasta out of squash. Yeah. Mm, we we buy it dried. Oh. Okay. So she just has to rehydrate it, boil it. But yeah, isn't it so nice? And it's easy. It's just it just tastes like that. We also have butternut squash, I think, in your fridge. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What do you use that for, like purees or soups? Mm, yeah, sometimes soup, and sometimes um, if I want to make like just a really simple, like stir fry in the morning. We should do like a Maya's kitchen. Sure, I do like vegetables, stir fry, and then she. Uh, we just learned how to make tortillas out of plantain. So we mix plantain and flaxseed. Like flaxseed, if you if you mix it with a little water, it becomes like an egg. And so you just take really ripe plantain, put it in the blender with some flaxseed you have mixed with water until it becomes like egg. And then maybe a little, little, little bit of organic oh, yeah. flour. Oh. Um, yeah, just flour. And, and then, then yeah. and then you put it, well, you just got a rolling pin, and you roll it out, and then we just bake it for like 20 minutes. That's it. And it's literally the same texture as tortilla. Flaxseed, plantains, and a little flour. Mm-hmm. Mm. -hmm. mm. Yeah. <clears throat> On a scale of 1 to 10, I rate this breakfast 10. Mm. Mm. Nutritional, very healthy. And beautiful. Mm -hmm. You see, I like beautiful things. That's why Cora and I are friends. <laughs> mm. You think I'm beautiful? Mm. <laughs> You're beautiful. Mm. What's your idea of the ideal man? Mm. Mm. Loving, protective, hmm. safe, healing, hmm. successful, hmm. supportive, fun, fine. 
<laughs> I think you're describing a man that does not exist. Uh huh. No. <laughs> they do. They do. But they're probably taken. Uh, no. They're single ones. But they're probably gay. No. They're straight <laughs> ones. When you when you believe it, you manifest it. I believe it. There's a mag magnolia. You want some salmon? Mm -hmm. Magnolia. <clears throat> what is your idea of the ideal woman? Ideal woman? Mm -hmm. Free. In every aspect of the word, free. Mm -hmm. mm. Wholesome. Healed and very self aware. Mm -hmm. mm. mm. Proper, like she can regulate her feelings, even if we all have those deep feelings as women, you know. Free, wholesome, self aware, healed, aware of emotions and able to regulate them. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good one. Independent, too. Mm -hmm. That's you. You're an ideal woman. Mm, that's you. <laughs> Really, Magnolia is our state flower in Louisiana. Mm. Mm. Magnolia, I didn't know you were a state flower. Mm. I love your community, Cora, and how they're so protective of you. And they know you. They know when things are changing in your life, when things are the same in your life. They know everything. You have a lot of empathetic people, or intuitive people in your fan base. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Most of the women that are my, my fans are very intelligent, highly motivated, independent women. Mm. Mm. Are you, do we have those, those type of fans on this morning? The very intelligent, <laughs> highly motivated, independent women? They all are. Mm -hmm. They all are. Let me say thank you to my star senders. Appreciate you guys. Love you. Stacey Dickerson Watts, thank you for 500 stars. Stacey Smith, thank you for 100 stars. Paulette Eugene. Oh, Paulette Louise, thank you for 20 stars. Stacey Smith, thank you for 2,200 stars. Coletta Chester, thank you for 50 stars. Maya, where is your Facebook? Why don't you go live on Facebook? Mm. Why don't you go live ever? Um, I don't know. But I have Instagram and Twitter. And LinkedIn. Oh, Stacy, thank you for 500 stars. Maya, turn on your Facebook so you can go live. Mm. No. No? I'll just go through yours. Why? Mm. I thought you were live on Instagram. Yeah, but it doesn't pay you as much as Facebook. Was. <sighs> you want to see my ass house? They want a house tour. Um, next time. <laughs> Part two. We have to leave something to the imagination. I can't mm -hmm. believe we finished all this food. Mm -hmm. It must have been very hungry. Mm -hmm. But this is what, this is so healthy. You can eat tons of this and not, you know. Mm -hmm. And our dandelion tea. Made from fresh dandelions. <laughs> Cheers. I feel like someone who's convalescent can come and live in your house and get well. <laughs> <laughs> this can be a cancer rehabilitation <laughs> clinic. <Hello? laughs> I'm just saying. Amen, God forbid. God forbid. No, I mean, like, if you have anyone who's convalescent. Maya's house is the perfect place. This is so, it's like something you would eat at a vegan retreat. You know? Pescatarian retreat. Mm -hmm. It's so healthy. Mm -hmm. 
If I ate like this, I'll have zero yes. <laughs> it's a problem we suffer from. You need the carbs for the yams. But after this meal, I think I'm still going to have some really good stuff. Ah, cheers. Mm. So this was me, Maya, on the, the Valuing Myra and how we can bring back some life into our local currency. Amen. Have a great day. And remember, you're always invited to my dinner, lunch, brunch, friends, tables. What's don't forget to stream my new song, Give Me Love, out now on YouTube. I was underwater. Have you seen my new music video? Mm -mm. Why? That's all shit. Because you know I'm not on social media like that. If what? I go on, I go on for 15 seconds. You know my health and wellness doesn't allow me to be on all the time. But when I do go on, Cora, you're one of the pages that I see. Hmm. And it makes me happy. And then I miss you. But then you don't text. Ah, uh, I text you all the... Uh, no, you don't. Please. Please, check out most recent chats. Who's the person checking in on who? Go and mm. check. Go and check. Go and check out most recent chats. Oh. <laughs> Alrighty, guys. Take care. Bye, bye. See you soon. Yes. Message you. Let's go to the beach. Message you. I miss you. Uh, message you. Are you here? Please. I love you. You 